hello guys so welcome to question 3 it's a probability question and uh, it's just uh, it's just using uh, total law of probability in some sense uh, and bayes theorem okay uh, not total law of probability but bayes theorem it's a very easy problem uh, so essentially you have to draw three diagram first of all so let me revise the question like repeat the question with you on one contains two white balls and two black balls if you just see over here on one contains two white two black on two contains one white three black on three contains three black one three white one black okay and what is done is that then uh, if hh is done hh is uh, got so we toss two coins with probability of h 0.2 and 0.5 0.3 and if hh is got we uh, select u1 if a h uh, tt is got we select u3 and if whatever rest is got we select u2 and then we randomly select a ball from the urn so what is the probability the urn one is selected given the ball drawn is white so if the ball drawn is white so essentially uh, probability of uh, it's asking for probability u1 given w and therefore we need to use bayes theorem so we have used bayes theorem over here uh, to observe that uh, probability u uh, w given u1 into probability of u1 by probability of u and we know w given u1 is what so this is a three diagram you must draw first w given u1 given u1 w is half uh given u2 w is 1/4 given u2 w is not 1/4 actually it's half again and uh, because the two cases and given u3 w is 3 by 4 so given the from this uh, information you get it and uh, essentially you get a prob probability of w given u1 you know probability of u1 u1 is what u1 is uh you use the h h h t and t h and t t wala stuff so using this given probability to get u1 ka probability 6 by 100 and uh we divide we are using bayes theorem so we divide probability of w as a probability of w given u2 uh into probability of u2 plus probability w given u3 into probability of u3 plus probability w given u1 into probability of u1 and we uh put the values of each of this to get the solution as uh, uh 6 by 109 so essentially you using bayes theorem over here so it's a very easy bayes theorem problem and you can just it's a sort of a, you can use this video as a hint of yours use bayes theorem and use a draw the uh, so to understand how to draw how to use bayes theorem to draw a tree diagram which makes it easy as easy as like very easy stuff for you to compute everything it will just you will see just see the calculations moving in front of you okay so that's it for you so it's a bayes theorem problem so i will see in the next video with the solution of the next problem uh, till then bye bye